Yeah, you can use those emojis. Or, okay. um, or what do you suggest? You can go to, <clears throat> I believe it's, let me, um, let me get the, the URL. It's e okay. it's emoji copy e m o j i c o p y emoji copy dot com e m o j i c o p y emoji copy dot com I use I use that website okay um, yeah this one right here okay. it just has a bunch of different ones it has like houses like scroll down you could see all kinds of different random ones right <clears throat> like there's a house right there there's um, it just caught does it just copy it yeah down there no you and then you hit the blue button to the right copy oh gotcha and then and then you can oh. paste it yeah all right um what do you suggest putting on just, your, your details I, for the property <clears throat> yeah like i always just resort back to the mls like to the to the page like just grab like specs from that like yeah. two bedroom three bath like maybe maybe talk a little bit about the area like what's ever in that description right 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 okay um I think it's pretty cool. Seller is the original owner. Maybe grab all that. Grab what if just you grab all of it? Yeah, grab the whole damn thing. Yeah. And then maybe and then just delete delete what a few things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best description, at least. <clears throat> Open house. Um, what is Saturday? Saturday the 8th? Saturday the 8th. Well, maybe I won't look there. Where's your chain with them? Two blue lips, versus one that's one of yours. Okay. Hit, hit, um, hit the sp hit enter, hit it twice, and then down there, maybe click on, maybe write, uh, click learn more for full details, or click learn more to, yeah, click learn more for full details. Perfect. Okay. And then, and then maybe, um, yeah, I guess one emoji is fine. That's cool. I can, I, <laughs> I can add more here. I want to, oh wait, let me not do that. <clears throat> I need something that like stands out. Um, And then do we try to choose which one will come up first or I guess it doesn't matter. There's yeah, actually you, you should be able to drag. <clears throat> Can you drag it? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Cool. Okay. Should I hit post? Yeah, yeah hit post. Okay. And then let me see if we can go in there and, 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 and edit it from a different view. Let me see real quick. So as this post, where did it go? Yeah. That looks really cool. Okay, <clears throat> do this real quick. Click on those three dots. Let me see something really, really quick. And then go to edit, go to um, go to okay. see more options. Actually edit post, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, see, so they're letting you edit from there. Okay, hit done editing. And then click on, click on an image. Cause I'm trying to see the editing from a different view. Click on those three dots. 
and just okay let's click on edit right there i think that's only going to let you add edit the description yeah okay so then that that that's fine that's fine um okay cool okay so then because when it when when it comes down to an ad like for example hit um hover over home like right there at the top kenzie home create hover mm -hmm. over and just right click and open a new tab and let's go through the news feed real quick let me show you something so just scroll through and let's look at a random ad real quick actually you know what? you can go back up let me look at that um is this one only you can see it okay you see how actually this one's not showing it just scroll down let's look for another ad um okay go back up real quick okay see how no. you see how um this is an this is an image ad so you see how you have the mm -hmm. text you have the image and then you have that header down at the bottom which says new fresh and ready mills mm -hmm. that's that's like the header but right even though the header is supposed to be the top that i think that's still called a header but um or the headline that's called the headline mm -hmm. so i'm just trying to see how how yours is going to look because um, oh i see what you're saying yeah it allows you to put one on a, on videos and that one right there is on image but i know it allows you to do it when you post the ad through the ads manager but what we're doing here is we're posting on the page first and then we're going to run it in the ads manager mm -hmm. but but that that's fine let's just now we have it on the on the page let's go into the ads manager so let's just set up the ad now okay so go into create now no just hit that that tab at the top you already have it open but there's a few oh, things oh, we got to okay. do first. Yeah. Okay, so okay. so this is where everyone gets it wrong. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten agents will run Facebook ads and then never ha see an ROI. And here's why: because you guys have your page, and then all of a sudden you think you can come in here, run an ad to the page, and something's going to happen. It's not mm -hmm. going to happen. You have to do a few things first. So here's what we have to do first: we have to set up a custom conversion. So okay. click on those dots in the top left. And you're going to click on um, events manager. Okay. So leave this page. So this right here is, is telling Facebook because the ad we're going to run is a conversions ad. We're not going to run a traffic ad. We're not going to run a engagement ad. We're going to run a conversions ad. A conversions ad is, is for lead capture. So we want people to actually opt in. We're looking for people to enter their name and email. It's lead generation ad. Right. To, to a landing page. So that's a conversion ad. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a custom conversion. We're going to let Facebook know which page we're trying to get them to. We're not trying to get them to the landing page. That's an obvious. What we're trying to get them to is the thank you page. Mm -hmm. Because anyone who lands on that thank you page, they fill out the form. So with a tell it to Facebook, we're like, hey, dude, this is our ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page. And that's what we're going to set up here is the thank you page. So click on the blue one, connect a data source. And then we're going to go actually click, I'm sorry, get out of this hit cancel, click the, the, um, hover over the triangle, the blue triangle to the left. And you're going to click on custom conversions. And what we're going to do first though, before it lets you, that's why it's, it's shaded. It won't let you click it yet. What we have to do first is we have to install our pixel. So that's, okay. that's number one. Step one is installing the pixel. And then step two is the custom conversion. So let's do the pixel first. So go ahead and click on, um, click on hover over that, that green. Cause on everyone's page, it's in a little, it's a little different, but hover over, go to, go to data sources. Okay. So just go back to the dots. Yeah. Yours is in a different place, but that's fine. We'll find it. And then click on, um, 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 click on, where's it at? It would be you're in events manager. Actually, you know what? Do you, have you ran ads out of this account before? Um, I've normally just done it like boost. You boosted a po oh. Yeah. Okay. So you may not even have it set up yet. You may not even have an ad account set up yet. So go back to the ads manager. Don't run ads out of your page no more. So no more boosting posts. This is where you have to be running ads. Okay. So, so, so yeah, you want to focus here and, and run everything out of here. So click on, click on the, the dots, um, right there. Yeah, click on those ones. And then let's go to ad account settings. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think you have an ad account set up yet. Okay. 
okay so add account name so it's that one okay click on click on the um the okay business name click on the credit card right there to the left payment settings mm -hmm. okay so that's that's up to date and that's the right card 3914 Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So then let's go back to, um, to the click on the dots again. And then go to those top the dots to the left. And then click on events uh, manager. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect. Yeah, your, your pixel is not you don't have a pixel yet. So let's click click on the blue one connect the data source. And then click on web. Get started. Okay, and then Facebook Pixel right there. Connect. Okay, so name your pixel. So name it, name it, name it, whatever. Name it your business name or name it whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so this is the name of your pixel. Okay, so hit uh, continue. Okay, perfect. Now we're here to set up the pixel. This pixel, are you, or do you even know what a pixel is? <laughs> nope. Okay, a pixel is, is, is Facebook's way to track all activity on a page. Okay. So now as we start to run ads to a page, whether it's a landing page, whether it's a thank you page, whether it's the pages that are, that are in your email sequence, whatever, a pixel is a piece of code that we're going to copy and just paste into your Kartra page to let Facebook know who's landing there and who's not landing there. Okay. So, so the pixel has to be on the page so Facebook can start tracking. So click on inst install code manually, and then you're going to copy code. Okay, perfect. And then now we're going to go to Kartra and let's go to your, we're going to open up your landing page, do that one first. And then we're going to open up, go to my pages and then we're going to open up your thank you page after. So, so this is your is, first. Yeah. Let's do this one first. The landing page. This is where your pixel goes on every page, every, 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 every page. Always make sure that you install this on every page. So click settings to the left. And then you're going to see tracking code and then you'll scroll to the very bottom and you'll see Facebook and all you're going to do is paste. So take out that one, delete the whole thing. No, just, yeah, delete. Yeah. Perfect. And then paste in that new one and then click apply. Okay. Perfect. Save progress, publish live, return to dashboard. Okay. So now let's do the same thing to this page. We'll put the pixel on this page. Okay, cool. So copy that. Settings. Tracking code. Perfect. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, so save progress, publish live, and return to dashboard. Okay, so now the pixels on the landing page and the thank you page. So now, now we're good. So now let's go back to Facebook. And I just want, how do I get to the one with the email? I can't remember. I couldn't remember. I just want to make sure everything on that page is um, good. Everything Not in the email? The other, do what? Everything in the email or on the page? The e Where they put their email in. I just don't remember if I changed. I remember oh, the form? Yeah, I just want to make sure the picture is the different address and not the one of my listing. Yeah, go ahead and go to the go to your landing page. Open that tab up at the top. Rena, Rena wrote, no, 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 no. Oh, now you have it open. Oh. So just opt in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You think the yellow? Actually, you know what? That button, you didn't update that button. What button? So look, there's no red button. Ah. Like keep right here. Yeah. So go back. Go back to the open up the page. Yeah. It normally goes here. Um, click here for full details, or click here. You have that in the text of the of the post. Click learn more for full details. You can maybe stay consistent with it on the button as well. Click here. 
for more details. I mean, it's kind of preference. It's kind of, and then yeah. you got your Remax red right there. Mm -hmm. But I think that's the palette. there, I think. So, how do I change this this color up here? Oh, uh. Okay, cool. So refresh the pages real quick. Let's just double Let's check. Go, no, 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 no. Go to your go to your tab. Your pages. Oh. Yeah, your landing page. Refresh this one. Click the button and just double check it. Cool. Okay, cool. So you're good. good. Okay. Perfect. So now, okay, so now we're good to go. Pixel is on this page, Pixel is on the landing page. Now what we have to do next is we have to go back to the ads manager. So step one is the pixel, step two. So let's just close this out. You can X out of this one. So now go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, so now, um, and then go to your go to your landing page and your thank you page real quick. Go to your landing page, open up the tab, refresh that page. Dude, just refresh it again. And then and then go to your landing page or your thank you page and refresh that one. Okay, cool. So now go back to Facebook, the ads manager. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to update, but go ahead and refresh, refresh this one. There we go. Okay, so now it's registering. Okay, so that's tracking, the pixel's tracking the pages now. So now we're gonna hover over that blue triangle and we're gonna create a custom conversion. Okay, so create custom conversion. Okay, so here's where the magic happens. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the thank you page and we're gonna copy the URL, but you're gonna copy every, you're gonna copy that right there. You're not looking for the HTTPS. So it's just the, from the S all the way on to the right. So surprise oh, yeah. value, that, perfect, just that. Copy that, go back to the okay. ad manager. Okay. And then you're going to go to name it. So you're gonna name your, name your conversion and it's gonna be open house leads. Okay, cool. That's the pixel. It's green. All URL traffic. Go ahead and click select your own category. Click on that blue, select your own category. And then hit the recommended, hit that drop down, and you're looking for lead. So scroll down, lead. Perfect. And then you're going to paste in that URL right there. Paste it in. And then you're going to hit the drop down. So choose that drop down. Perfect. And then click create. I mean, okay. Just create. Okay, hit done. Okay, so now go back to the thank you page, refresh that page, refresh this one. Okay, so now let's give it a few seconds. Give it, go back to the ads manager and then refresh this page. Perfect. Now you're ready to go. This is how you capture leads. So right. now let's go through the walkthrough of the full setup. Okay. Okay. So remember the name of that conversion. So again, number one was the pixel. That pixel goes on every page. Number two, when you're looking to capture leads, you have to set up a custom conversion. And that's the name of the conversion. Open house leads. You'll do another one for listing leads. You'll do another one for seller guide leads. Right. Right. So... Mm -hmm. Um, so that's perfect right there. So that's the name of it. Open house leads. Okay. So now click on the dots to the left. Let's run the ad here. So no, the dots up. Those, yeah. There we go. Click on ads manager. Okay. So, and there's a few different pages that I, that I always recommend people to bookmark. Um, this is one of them. So I always have people bookmark this page. Um, and you want to create a folder, like don't just have random bookmarks, like create a folder, like create a folder, choose another folder and just maybe create a new one. Yeah. Go new folder, bottom new folder and name this one ads manager. Like 
that way you can always get to your ads manager right away. Um, this one right here is, is um, what I want you to bookmark. And let's go back to real quick. That way I can teach you the right, right way. Go back to the dots to the left and click on events manager. And then go to custom convert. Actually, you know what? Why don't you, um, what, what, why don't you bookmark this page as well? And let's, let's name this one a uh, pixel. Name it, name it right there. Yeah. Pixel name it pixel. And, and, and the reason why I want you to name it pixel is because as you click on add events, this is where you're going to find your pixel. You can always go back to your landing page because you have that pixel on that page now. So you can always go back to that landing page, open it up, go to the settings, click on tracking code and just copy what you have already in there and just paste it in, in another page. Or you can always clone that page and everything in that page comes with that next duplicated clone. But if you don't do it that way, then, and you need to come in here and get, and just copy it again, you're going to click on add events right there. You see add events, hit the drop down. No, down to the left Add events down. Right there. And then from a new website, like that one. Yeah. And then right there, Inst install code manually, uh -huh. click on that. And then you're going to click the green one, copy code. There's your pixel. Mm -hmm. So X out of this, that's how you get your pixel from this point on. So you'll bookmark this page. And then what I also want you to do is, is hover over the, the blue triangle, click on custom conversions and just go ahead and bookmark this page as well. So this is custom conversions. Okay, cool. So you got a few bookmarks and that's good. Those are the most important pages. Um, now we do need custom audiences, but we'll do that on another call. We need to create custom audiences, but it's not, it's not the most, most important right now, but, but it kind of is. We'll do that later. It's not, it's not important for this specific ad. So click on the dots to the left and let's go back to the ads manager and let's, let's now set up the ad. So ads manager, actually, you know what? And, and also um, bookmark this page too. This is, this is actually, it's already bookmarked. It's already bookmarked. And then also when ads complete, and it's just, it's just preference. It's just me. Like I'm just big on de on, on the details. Whenever an ad ends, always change that blue. It, it says completed. So it's not spending any money. It's off, but always try to get in the habit of changing that blue to gray and okay. you'll do it on each tab. So this is right here. You're in the campaigns tab towards the middle to the right. You have ad sets. That's the tab. And then you have the third tab to the right ads. Mm -hmm. So each one has its own three, it has its own tab. And as we click on the green button and we create it, that's what we're creating. We're creating the campaign level. We're creating the ad set level and we're creating the ad level. So when you're looking at it right here from the dashboard, you can just watch, check that box right there to the left, right where your cursor is at to the left, actually down. I'm sorry. I thought you're that's, actually, that's my cursor. Click on the, the third one down, post, let me, let me help guide, your, guide you through up. Check that one. To the left, to the left, the box. Okay, so as you check a box, this is one ad. So this is the campaign level. Sh change, that to, change that to gray. That blue, change it to gray. Now click on the middle tab, ad sets for one campaign. This is the second step, which I'm going to walk you through. Once we click the green button, this is the, no, don't click on nothing. This is the ad set level. So as you're just looking at stuff from the dashboard, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing all the stats on what's going on. So change that blue to gray, that button. Yeah, there you go. And then, and then the third step, that's the ad. Turn that one to gray as well. So this is how you properly turn off an ad. This, yeah, here? turn that to gray. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That way when you come in here and you see everything blue, that's, those are ads that are on. When you, see sh when you see gray, those are ads that are off. But if you come in here and see blue all across the board, yeah, they're off, but just to the naked eye, it just, it just I don't know, it's just me. I think it's just me. So now just X out of the X out ads. Yeah, X one selected, X that out, X that out, X out the middle one, X out the, that one. Okay, perfect. So now we're back. So now click right there, campaigns, the tab. Okay, so now right here. Okay, perfect. So hit the green one. So Free. let's create that. Yeah. So now we're going to create the ad. Okay. So here's where everything happens. Go with the create complete campaign. Go with the one to the left. Yeah. Select guided creation. 
this is the format right here. And just click on, uh, scroll down and click start over. Okay, so you wanna bookmark this one right here too. This is ad setup. So this right here is where it all, where it all happens, ad setup right here. Okay, so 10 out of 10 times, an agent's ad will get rejected because they don't check that box right there. You always have to check that box, special That's ad fine. categories. Yeah. Yeah. And then do the drop down, go with housing. So that's, that's the most important for real estate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now in this case, we're going with conversions. So we're going to run a conversions ad. That's the objective. So this is tab number one, as we were looking at it on the dashboard, this is tab one campaign objective conversions, click on conversions. Okay, so scroll down and then we're going to give it a title. That way, when you're looking at it from the dashboard, you can see the first tab campaigns and you know what ad that is. So let's name it in the campaign title right there. Conversions put dash. No, leave that, leave that put dash. And then just put open house and then the address. Hmm. <clears throat> Perfect. And then shade that blue to gray. Shade that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's fine. This that, one? Yeah. You'll shade that to gray. You'll always shade that to gray because you're not going to be, you don't really need campaign budget optimization at all for what you're going to be doing. So hit the blue one. So that's the first tab. That's campaign. That's step one. That's what you see on the, on the dashboard. That's the first tab campaign. So click the blue one. This is the second tab, the one in the middle. This is your ad set. So in the ad set, what I normally do is I normally, I'll normally title it um, US 18 plus. See in, in housing and real estate, you can no longer change, you can no longer target gender or target age. So it's always yeah. gonna be 18 plus. But what I do is I try to get a little bit more specific with the title. Again, it's only because when I look at it from the dashboard, I can click on the first tab campaign. I can click on the tab in the middle ad set and I can just by the title of it, I can know which ad that is. So this ad set name right there, us dash 18 plus, I would put dash, um, um, maybe put the, maybe put the budget, put, put the budget. Like how much are you spending? Are you spending five bucks a day? Are you spending 10 bucks a day? Are you spending 20 Where bucks a day? Here? Yeah. Uh, All we're doing is we're just titling it, just titling it for dashboard purposes so we can look at the ad from the dashboard and know what the hell that ad is. Okay. Without uh, having to click into it and look at everything, right? So I'm just giving you some description or we're giving the title a description. And, and, and one way to describe it is maybe the budget. We already named the first tab campaign. We already named that conversions and the address. So right here, the second tab, you mm -hmm. can name this one. Um, Maybe put, maybe put, um, I don't know, the, the daily budget. What are you going to be spending per day? Five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day? Um, well, I mean, I'm only going to be running it for, um, what, a couple of days? I would say today's Wednesday. I would say go live with this first thing in the morning. Run it all of Thursday, run it all of Friday, and yeah. I'd even run it all of Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah I so will. Three days. So you're either going to put 10 bucks a day, you're going to put 15 bucks a day, you're going to put 20 bucks a day. Um what is what is the difference i mean is the it... difference is is reach the difference is views the difference is is is, well, is i need to sell me a house this weekend. right so i would do 20 bucks a day for three days yeah yeah so put 20 bucks put 20 bucks a day perfect and then leave it like that so let's scroll down so look here's right there right there stay right there stay right there that right there, conversions, open house leads, that green dot, that's mm -hmm. what we are optimizing for. Now, it's not always there by default. So X that out. A lot of the times when you come in to the second step, yeah, okay. a lot of the times when you come into the second step, it'll be blank like that. And you mm -hmm. have to click into the box, scroll mm -hmm. down until you find your custom conversion. Okay. And it's, it ain't hard to find. It's the first green one. But right. a lot of times it's not like that. So if you don't automatically see it like this, click, hit the drop down and find it. Okay. That's the one we're shooting for. Perfect. So scroll down and then um, you don't need, and that's why, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, custom audiences, we'll get into that on another call. 
but that's super important as well. Um, mm-hmm. and, and, and let me, let me just describe it really quick for you because this is super powerful, super important. A custom audience is very similar to the custom conversion with the custom conversion. We set it up around the thank you page link, right? The URL. We took that URL. We copied it. We pasted it. We called it open house leads, custom conversion, custom audience is, is the same in the sense where we need to be able to tell Facebook. We want to be able to tell Facebook that the people that landed on this thank you page are a certain type of people. So for example, when I land on the thank you page, that is a lead. Now, even though we set it up as a custom conversion under a lead, it's not an audience. The, re- the difference is, is that if it's an audience, a custom audience, they come to the landing page, they opt in, they end up going to the thank you page, that is a custom audience. Mm-hmm. So whoever lands on that page is inside of my custom audience. It's that's really, really important when you start running seller guide ads. Okay. For example, I come to your seller guide page, I opt in, I then go to your thank you page. That thank you page is not only a custom conversion, but it's also a custom audience. Now, again, why is that important? Because as I go and run future ads for seller guides, I want to be able to take that audience and exclude them from seeing any future ads. Because if I am running a seller guide ad every week and I opt in, or, or let's just say you opt in and now you're, now you go to my thank you page and I know you went to my thank you page cause I have my Facebook pixel on that thank you page. And I have that thank you page set up as a custom audience. So I know Facebook knows that you landed on that page because you're now in a custom audience. So right there, right where it says custom audiences, I would click exclude, click exclude. And I would, I would exclude going and click that box right below exclude. No, above up right there. No, the box. No, no. Right below exclude and click inside. Yeah. Right there. Click. So right here, I would see seller guide leads. Not the custom conversion, the custom audience. And again, I would choose that audience to exclude because they've already opted in. They already downloaded my seller guide. Why do they need to keep seeing future ads on the same topic? Mm-hmm. Right? They already, they, already saw my, they, already, they already saw my seller guide video ads. They already opted in. So why do I want to keep showing them more ads to get them to opt in again? Does that make sense? So you need to exclude them. That's like, that's like, that's like saying, that's like, for example, you run a listing ad and, and, and I bought the listing, but you're showing me future ads for more listings. That'd make no sense. Right. Right. You'd be Mm -hmm. spending more money. You would be spending more money than you need to, because you're showing ads to people who already bought your house, but you're showing them ads for other houses to buy. Makes no sense. Yeah. But you want to be able to exclude those. So again, custom conversion is one thing, but a custom audience is another. You want to create custom audiences around all these people who are landing on certain pages so you can include them in future ads or exclude them from future ads. So for example, again, in this specific case with this open house, you got the post on the business page. That's the ad. As you run the ad and people click on learn more, There's going to be a good percentage of people that land on your landing page, but don't opt in. Mm -hmm. That's a custom that needs to be a custom audience. I need to know the data. I need to know. It's not going to give me name and number because these are people that did not give up their name and number. It's not a lead, but Facebook tracks the data. So for example, again, the landing page. They're going to get targeted pretty much. Yes. So, so if I can create a custom audience of everyone who lands on the landing page, but they never opted in, I want to be able to include that audience in future ads because I got their attention. They saw my ad, they click learn more. They went to my landing page, but they never opted in. So there was some type of interest or they would have never gotten that far in my process. They would have never clicked learn more. They would have never came to my page if there was absolutely zero interest and I'm targeting them. These are people that live next door to me. So if I have my pixel on that landing page and if I have that landing page set up as a custom audience, then those are good people that I want to continue to stay in front of. 
And so as I go and run future ads, I want to include all those people because they haven't opted in yet. Make sense? Right. Yeah. So, 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 so in this case, open house, I mean, you don't need it this, this second, but as we go and run seller guide ads, yeah, for sure. You're going to want to create custom audiences. Okay. okay so let's scroll down. So you don't need that right now. Age, gender, detail targeting, go in and, and open up that detail targeting, edit to the right. Okay. Right here. So this detail targeting, I leave that part blank. A lot of people would put in Zillow um, and, and they'll put in a bunch of different keywords mm -hmm. in that, in that box, but you're only targeting a specific location. So for example, above right there, you see United States, let's edit that and let's put the address of the, of the open house. So X that out, X the United States out. Okay. So, and, and, and hit the drop down. people living, you, there's a few different options and, and, there, and it makes a huge difference. People living in or recently in this location, people living in this location, Traveling in, oh. See, yeah. that's why this right here, look, this is a perfect example. Perfect example on why your friend or that other person the other day that you told me about saw your video, but he wasn't in the area. Chances are when you set up that video ad, the intro, chances are you left it right there. People living in or recently in this location. And although he doesn't live in that area, he was probably driving through that area and on his Facebook and saw your video ad. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, so I don't necessarily want that. Like, I don't want people just driving through. I want right. to target that area. Like I want to target that area. So normally I'll go with people living in this location. Okay. Okay. So, and I, um, I mean, there also is a lot of people traveling in this location as well. Yeah. You can do that too. We're, just, I mean, we're a resort town, but I mean, I don't know. If it's, it's up to you. Basketball. It's totally up to you. And, and this is where a lot of, you know, split testing comes in play Can where it's like multiple or is it best to just no, leave? It, it, it's, it's one or the other. So you'd have to go with one. Okay. So but, I'm um, yeah, that's fine. Do you, do you think an investor would buy that property? Potentially. I mean, out here it's, it's, there's so many. <laughs> okay. There's all, everybody's from everywhere, but, um, so in that case, more maybe of a single family home. So I in Brock that like a local would buy. So I don't know. Well, I really just don't know up here. Well, in that case, maybe, maybe go with people living in or recently in this location. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So let's leave okay. it at that. Perfect. Okay. Now let's scroll down to, um, actually, no, wait, no, no, I'm so sorry. Go back up. And then right there in that box, right below it, people living in this location, uh -huh. that's where you put the address. So sometimes you can either put the address or you, you'd have to put just the city. There we go, there's the address. Perfect, perfect. And then you can hit that 15 miles, hit that drop down. And you can you can choose fifteen as a minimum, but you can go up to fifty. What? Mm, it's totally up to you. I, like you. Well, I mean, everybody from Denver buys here, so I mean, like that's kind of where our our. I mean, yeah. seventy percent of our buyers are from the Front Range, so. Okay. So then. Uh, maybe even well, you think fifty is too much? Let's just do 40. Okay, cool. Perfect. So scroll down. And then, um, and then let's go to show more options. Click on that real quick to show more options. Okay, perfect. Leave that and then scroll down. And then right here, normally automatic versus manual. Uh-huh. I'm going to have you just go with, just, just leave it at automatic. Let Facebook determine where the best activity is happening for this specific oh, ad. Right leave it on automatic. Yeah. And then go budget. So daily, there's two options. You can hit the drop down. There's daily and there's lifetime and it's the same thing, but it's a little, it's, it's, it's different on how Facebook shows the actual ad every day. So for example, if you went 20 bucks a day and you went daily budget, you're capping Facebook at 20 bucks a day. But if I went, 
and, and if the goal was to run it for three days, I'd rather just go lifetime, lifetime budget, hit the drop down, go lifetime budget and go $60 and then just set the calendar. That way every day, Facebook doesn't have a cap to show that ad. They okay. could just show it as many times as, as needed. Between um, now and? I would, I would go August um, 6th. Saturday through through Saturday, or no, yeah, go, go August six. Yeah, August six, and and I would start it at six a.m. Yeah, go six a.m. local time. Six, yeah, just six a.m. Change the yeah the change. Oh, the you number. Really change. Okay. What? Click on the number. Okay, six. Yeah, six o'clock, six a.m., and then just do um, to the eighth. And and I would just go till six till go go. Actually, you know what? What time is it right now? It's six o'clock right now. Actually, it's seven o'clock your time. Yeah, mm -hmm. just go any time on the on the end, whatever time you can. Do go, what now? You can go. You can go. Go six p.m. Six p.m. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so show more options. So live time sixty. There's your three days. Perfect. So hit continue, and we're good. So let's um. And see, so based on, based on that budget, based on the budget, based on the location, the targeting of the, of the location, the address, Facebook's projecting three to 12 leads per day on that budget. So that would increase obviously based on the budget. So everything is on the budget. Everything's about the budget. How much are we spending per day? Like that's what it kind of comes down to. Okay. So right here, we're going to go, um, you can leave the ad set name. So again, each, each step campaign ad set ad has a title. So we name the first one, the address, we name the second one, $20 a day, this third one right there, ad name, you got default name conversions. And I would just leave it, just leave it. It's all good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and right there in the middle, use existing post. So rather than creating the ad here, we're going to use existing post. And you're going to hit select post and then you're going to find that post there you go and then continue and then it'll give you a, a preview of what it looks like right there so scroll down okay perfect so now let's um okay so that's the right pixel okay good so scroll back up objective campaign record scroll down real quick let's see the error Okay, yeah, all we gotta do is put in the link. Okay, cool. So scroll back up and then the call to action button. Actually, there's no there's no call to action button. Okay, that's fine. They could just click, they'll just end up clicking the watch hover over, no button, click hover over it. Okay, you can add a call to action button to this post instead of selecting the, the use existing post option. You can select create ad to make a new ad with the desired call to action. Okay, so then for some reason. And I think it's because there's multiple images. Because there's multiple images, that's why there's no call to action button. Can I, can I, should I delete a couple? Um, or I don't even know, what does this mean? <laughs> no, it doesn't even matter. Like, that's okay. fine. Even though there's no learn more button. What is call to action? Exactly? The call to action is the learn more button. But in this case, in this case, it's fine. There's no learn more button. Um, all they got to do is click on an image and that'll take them to your, that, that would, that will actually, Actually, you know what? We do we do need to. Okay, yeah. If we need to. So we just create the ad here, right there. Create ad down. Create ad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. It's getting harder to see them. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do in this case is you could do a carousel. That's what you kind of had set up on. Oh, the page. I, yeah. What you were saying, kind of the okay. Yeah. Let's do the carousel. Okay. Two or more uh, pictures. So go ahead and choose that one. And then go ahead and choose number one, the image. Click on, click on number one. Go ahead and um, hit the upload. Yeah, there you go. And then just grab a few images here. So when it comes to videos, when it comes to videos, upload to the business page first. Okay. And then you can use existing post when it comes to Im when it comes to images, but when it comes to running multiple images, which is what you did, do it this way. Create ad. Okay. What did, did it not work? It said, no, hit upload. 
Okay, open. Okay, so for some reason it, it upload, uploaded fell. Just X out and do it again. I really want that other picture. <laughs> no, you'll, you're gonna put multiple pictures and you'll be able to drag them. So just 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 get, okay. get them all up there. Why will that one not work? It's the one I want. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know why that one's not working. Might be the size of it. Yeah, Is it the same see. size as these other ones? And grab another. So click on that, hit continue. Okay. Should I, can I go grab that other picture? Real yeah, quick? but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit, yeah, you gotta hit continue. You're adding a few. So let's just add, let's just add them all. Let's, you gotta um, hit continue and then just go to number two. And then and then do it again. Perfect. Okay. okay, cool. And then number three, do it again. Maybe try grabbing that other one again. Yeah, I think it's the size. It's that size. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's the size. It's too small. Thing that you did yesterday. <laughs> Or it's too small, you said? It looks too, just by the way of, of looking at it from the folder, it looks it looks smaller than the others. Sweet. Okay, cool. So grab that one. Okay. Continue. Yay. Okay, cool. So, um, so can I switch them around still? Yeah, you, you can. Um, I wonder why, let's see, go to, you could. Um, I mean, now that I have, I'm able, I can delete it and do it real quick or whatever. There you go. Okay. Why? Why not go to the front? Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now the, the, the description, we wanted to grab, dang it, did we have it pasted? No. Remember you copied it from the actual post? Is it still pasted? Is it still copied? I mean, I, I can, are you talking about this? Yeah, what you wrote yeah. on the original post. Remember you copied it? Oh, Go ahead and paste. Go ahead and see if you can paste it in. See if it's still <laughs> copied. I hope so, because I've been, yes! Okay. Awesome. So go back. Okay, Should so in the description, yeah, right there, description in there yeah see so the headline is what i was looking for so the headline what you want to do is is go ahead and copy the open house saturday august 8th copy okay. that entire thing cut it okay and then just put it in the headline should i move this up yeah move that up Oop, that's not what i wanted to do Okay. Okay, so scroll up real quick. It was supposed to update on the right hand side, but actually, you know what? That you're on the third. So click on number one. Do the same thing for number one. Oh, d oh. Yeah, so each <laughs> image <laughs> has its own. Paste. Then you have to click on number three, get the description. Or actually, you can get it right there. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we paste it right there. Perfect. And then got it. Perfect. And then do the same one for number two. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So there's your open house. Um, and then each one has a description. And then let's go to your landing page. And let's, and then let's finalize this. Go to your landing page, copy this link, copy the whole thing, the HTTPS and all that. So double click. There you go. Okay, and then that goes into the website URL right below. Did I put it for all of them? Yeah. One, one two, and three? Yeah. And see on this, in this case with the, with the carousel actually yeah there's the learn more button perfect so you got the learn more button 
Um, okay, so I guess it's on all of them already. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. And then also, um, there we go. Okay, that, yeah, that looks better. Okay, edit placement. Select the placement to edit. Hit that drop down real quick. Edit placement. Hit that drop down. See what's that real quick. Okay, that's fine. You can leave it there. Okay, cool. So you're good. So um, scroll, scroll Is up real quick. Is that be on Instagram and Facebook or? Um, yes, because you went with you went with um, automatic placement. Okay, so, cool. So yeah, so. Yeah. Oh. But but again, the image, as long as the image, actually, yeah, the dimension is what matters on Instagram. So that's why a lot of times when you run ads, you'll do Facebook only and then Instagram only because the image is always a different dimension. It's always a different size, gotcha. especially if, you, if you're using horizontal wide images here, those images are not for Instagram. So okay. even though we went automatic placements, and automatic placements means, watch, for example, go to the left, click on placements to the left. So even though we went placements up, placements to the left. To the left, placements. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. Hard to find so, these, man. <laughs> what's in your way? Like, what are you not, what are you not seeing? What the my hell? My eyes are crossing and I'm, my stomach's going. <laughs> oh my God, you're working your ass off. You need to go eat or something. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you see how you went with automatic placements this okay. right here is telling facebook to put it everywhere they put ads which is instagram as well okay cool but but if you go manual placements so click on manual placements you can choose in fact you know what let's do that let's go uncheck instagram uncheck messenger uncheck audience network we want all that 20 bucks a day 60 bucks lifetime we want it going all to Facebook and we want it all to go to the news feed. So uncheck everything other than that first check, which is the news feed. Uncheck all that. So if you went automatic placements, Facebook yeah. puts it everywhere, but everywhere is not where all the attention is at. On Facebook, our attention is in that news feed. And in, in Instagram's case, our yeah. attention is on Instagram. But again, with Instagram, it's a different Please. size Please. image. Stories is uncheck, fine. uncheck everything, uncheck everything. With Instagram, it's a different size image. And then also with video, oh, it's wait, a different size do? video. I'm happy clicking. What am I doing? Search and no, click. You're fine. Video. As long as everything's unchecked, okay. uncheck everything. Okay. Okay, good. So now that ad is only going into the news feed, which is, okay. which is where you want. So right there again, estimated conversions, 3 to 13 per day. Okay, so if you were getting 10 leads a day, that'd be awesome. Right. Yeah. Right. So we'll see. Don't, I mean, don't, don't get your yeah, you know, hopes yeah. too high, but at the same yeah, time, yeah. three to 13. Is okay with me at the moment. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's scroll down and let's just get out of the second tab. This is the second step ad set. So we're good here. Let's hit continue. Go to the next page. Go continue. very, very bottom, bottom continue. So we're good there. Now we're good here. We just created the ad. We uh, scroll down. We got the images. We got the text. We got the headline. Um, learn more for details. We got our website URL right there. Perfect. So now let's go to the very, very bottom. Make sure that the pixel see more URL. What you can do is you can, um, you could, you could, you could put your, you could put your link there as well. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, you could you could leave it there and then click out. Okay, perfect. Okay. So we're good. So make sure that 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 green light is always on. That's your pixel. You want your pixel tracking all this. So scroll okay. down. That's good. Wait. We're good. Don't no 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 leave it. Okay. So just make sure it's always green. You know, surprise value mountain homes. Make sure that okay. dot is green. And then confirm. And so now you're gonna go into ad review for it could be a few hours. That's why I always set the ad for the next day. Yeah. Because you're gonna go into review for probably a few hours. So I don't want to set the ad for 7 p.m. right now when it's gonna be in review for a few hours, that's gonna cut into my budget, that's gonna cut into my calendar schedule time, mm -hmm. right? I wanna schedule that time accordingly. I want that 60 bucks to be spent over a period of a time, not you know freaking right. past the time that they approve the ad. Mm -hmm. So now check the box. So go to that first one, it's scheduled, check the box to the left, to the left, check the box. Okay, so again, these are the three tabs we just set up. Campaigns. 
Now you look at it from the dashboard, conversions, open house, 493. Click on the middle tab. You look at it from the dashboard, US 18 plus $20 a day. Click on the third tab to the right. Now you look at it and that, you know, we could have titled that something different, but it doesn't matter right now. So right. the campaign objective, you check the box for housing, that's approved. The middle tab, the, the daily budget, the targeting, the address, are the, yeah, the, all that's approved. It's this, it's this part that needs to be that's still in review. But mm -hmm. here's what you can do. While it's in review like this, here's how you can look at the ad in real time, um, how it's going to look in the newsfeed. So hover over default name, hover over that, and then go, go to edit. Click on edit. And then what you can do right here is right to the right side, right there, go more to the right that drop down right there above that drop down hit that and then go scroll down and facebook desktop newsfeed so scroll down this is what your ad is going to look like bam so click on learn more there it is there sweet there's your ad, man. So you're freaking, you're ready to rock and roll. I need That's a conversions <laughs> ad. To this open house. What? I said, I need a million people to come to this open house. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a good start. You know, this is yeah, a good start, yeah. good traction. Great. That whole entire area is going to see it. But again, well, what, right what, now, what's that? Times. I was just saying right now in these times, just this internet yes. stuff. <laughs> yes, for sure. But just keep in mind, for a listing, for an open house, you for sure, for sure, for sure want to try your best to make it a video. Right. Like if you were at that property in front of that house, giving a walkthrough, hey guys, this is Kenzie, just want to tell you about this open house we have coming up. That right there would get a hundred times more engagement than this freaking image right here. Even there. though the image is beautiful, but it's still an image. It's boring. Yeah. yeah. You know, if I saw your face on there, it's like, dude, that I would have, it would have attracted me even more. Right. You know, yeah. so always well, try gonna, to do video. Yeah, I'm going to try to work on that. This is for the moment. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Well, so I wanted to run my, mine, you know, my listing, but yeah, that, was, that went pretty quick. So yeah, spare in the moments are the listing and open house ads. But what I really want you to get in the habit of and really start to crush this Kartra system on is the seller guide. If you're looking for listings, if you're looking for buyers and buyer guide, but that's the ad that I want you running weekly is, is, is getting people to the landing page to download your seller guide or your buyer guide. Mm -hmm. right. So that, that's the consistent ad you want to be running weekly to your local area. These right. are just one off ads. Mm -hmm. But if you can get in the habit of that, of that, of that other ad, the, ad, the campaign seller guide, buyer guide, that's when you, that's when your pipeline stays full. That's when you're waking up to appointments every day and you haven't left the house. Right. That's where we want to be. Right. So, so keep me posted. Let me know, you know, message me over oh, the will. weekend. Let me know how this one goes. I will definitely let you know. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate yes. it. And You're uh, awesome. Right on, yeah. Kenzie. Message me later. Right. Okay, Thanks. cool. Thanks. Okay, good night. Bye-bye.